Welcome back. It's an exciting day for students and staff in Fort Bend ISD. Yeah, a lot of fun. And this is all because children at risk named Commonwealth Elementary School the number one elementary school in the entire state of Texas. Yeah, and to celebrate the big accomplishment, they're holding a pep rally right now. Brittany Jeffers, as you can see and hear, <laughs> is there for the fun. Oh, How's it going, good. Brittany? Yeah, guys, they just kicked things off. And if you look around this room, you will see the smiles. You will see the excitement here. Wow, what an honor to be at number one elementary. We are here with the Commonwealth Cougars. And the teachers started things off by saying they're going to give credit where credit is due. The administrators say they really want to thank the teachers for this award. Again, you look around the room and you can see these elementary students, staff, and teachers here really just to celebrate this day and they are kicking this off with a pep rally so we're gonna go ahead and listen in and then some of you may go to Elka many, many years ago. His name was President Carter. His wife, Rosalind Carter, had a quote, and she liked to say, a good leader takes people where they want to go, but a great leader takes people where they might not want to go, but where they sure ought to be. And I think that kind of sums up my yin, my yang, my wonderful, fearless leader, and our leader, Dr. Vogel. teachers and staff. We would like to acknowledge Dr. Lemley, the assistant superintendent who supports our campus, the entire Fort Bend ISD E-team, our board of trustee members, Dr. Mark Smith, our superintendent, our elected officials who are visiting with us today, all of our visiting students from our high schools and middle schools along with their teachers, and Ms. Snyder, our school's phenomenal assistant super, <laughs> assistant, <laughs> assistant, almost soup, but assistant principal, and to the entire CWE family, our parents, special guests, students, teachers, staff, and everyone under the sound of my voice. I am so, so very proud to be standing in front of you today on an occasion where we have an opportunity to recognize and celebrate being ranked number one for all of the elementary schools in the state of Texas. Boys and girls, congratulations. Before, boys and girls, when we each do our part by listening to our parents, following the directions and instructions given to us by our teachers, putting forth our very best effort, and pursuing our goals with relentless perseverance, great things will happen because we are always stronger together. Hard work, grit, determination, teamwork, and collective efforts all of those combined are the reasons why we are here on this day in this moment celebrating this level of success. So students, thank you for your hard work. 
and your commitment towards your studies. Teachers and staff, thank you for your sacrifice, the time, the energy that you spend doing the work. And parents, thank you for entrusting us with your most valuable treasures. So at this time, I would like to give all of our collective community a round of applause. to take this opportunity to congratulate Clemens High School, which was ranked 16th on the list of best high schools in the state. So it's just one. And to Fort Settlement Middle School for being ranked 7th on the list of the most schools in the state. This is just another example of wonderful things and great things happening in Fort Bend ISD. So at this time, we would like to continue the conversation, the accolades, and the acknowledgments. And I could not think of another group that could stand before you other than our student leaders. These are our NEHS and student council officers who have a few words that they would like to share. Hi, my name's Camille. To our parents for being our first teacher, for encouraging us along our journey of learning, for allowing us to participate in extracurricular activities, for volunteering in our classrooms, supporting our teachers, and remaining in partnership with our school, we thank you. To the crossing guards, bus drivers, and after school care providers who take the time to learn our names, get to know our families, celebrate our birthdays, congratulate us on our accomplishments, and show support by attending school performances and special events, we thank you. Hello, my name is Suhana. To the staff members who work tirelessly to ensure the upkeep of our building, the classrooms, common areas, and learning spaces, we thank you for greeting us in the morning, welcoming us into the building and classrooms, sitting with us when we need extra help, listening as we explain our thinking, and giving us time to figure things out on our own, and providing us with valuable feedback. We thank you. who frequently check in on us to ensure our mental well-being, provide opportunities for us to, com to communicate how we feel, and designate safe spaces for us to reflect, reflect, resolve conflict, and make amends. We thank you for teaching us, supporting us, guiding us, working with us, believing in us, and encouraging us to do our best. We thank you. Hi, I'm Nolan. To the staff who provides us with nourishment, strengthens our bodies with physical fitness activities, takes care of us when we are ill, and keeps us safe and secure, we thank you. For fostering our love of learning, cultivating creativity, and allowing us to be flexible thinkers, promoting a growth mindset, and encouraging our participation in the performance, arts, and visual arts, we thank you. Remember to always have a can-do attitude. Be courteous, be patient, and be kind. Be collaborative team members, servant leaders, and lifelong learners. Do your best. 
show grit, determination, and perseverance. Continue to encourage one another. And even when things get hard, don't give up. Don't ever stop trying. Instead, keep on going because we've got this. Congratulations to all for making CWE the number one elementary school in the state of Texas. Boys and girls, again, congratulations. We are so very proud of you. And at this time, I would like to turn it over to our superintendent, Dr. Mark Smith. How can you follow that? That is absolutely awesome. Good morning, everybody. It is so good to be here. I'm so honored and excited to have this opportunity to be in your presence today. There is no better way for me to end my first week on the job than to be in the midst of champions. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. So, absolutely. So let me just say, I understand that last year you finished second. This year, of course, you are the number one rated elementary school in the state of Texas. That says to me that you continuously strive for excellence. Second is good, but not good enough. You've demonstrated the grit and the excellence and the can-do spirit to get to that next level, and all of your work has indeed paid off. One thing that we know, you can't be the best school in the state of Texas without having the best teachers in the state of Texas. So teachers... In addition to that, you absolutely have to have the best administrators and principals in the state of Texas, right? And absolutely nothing can be done at a level like you're at if you don't have community and parents who are top-notch and the best in the state of Texas. So kudos to the parents and community of Commonwealth. Again, it is an honor to be here. I'm so excited. There's so much positive energy. In just a few weeks, there's going to be a Super Bowl, right? And in that Super Bowl, they're going to crown the champion, and they'll be the champions for the world for that particular season. Well, in the same spirit, you are the crowning champions of elementary schools in the, all the state of Texas. And for that, again, we want to say thank you for all the hard work. Thank you for setting the tone of excellence and being a model for all of us. When I grow up, I want to be like y'all one yeah. day. <laughs> so again, it is an honor to be here, and I'm so excited to partic participate in this uh, ceremony. I want to recognize uh, two important people that are here, our board of trustees. We have two represented. We have our vice president, who you'll hear from in just a moment, Dr. Shirley Rose Gillian. And then we have trustee Mr. Rick Garcia. And they provide such crucial leadership for all of us in the district to do the great work that we do. So again, thank you for welcoming me. Thank you for being champions and setting the model and tone for all of us. Keep up the great work, Commonwealth Cougars. Let me bring up, let me bring up, before, okay. All right, all right, let me bring up Dr. Gilliam, our Vice President, for a few words. Good, good morning, good morning. How y'all doing? Where are my teachers? Where are the teachers? I want you to write on the paper. Where are these? Way.
today. She's an elected official, so we want to welcome her to our school as well. All right. Well, we, we totally appreciate everyone's time. Um, Dr. Smith didn't quite mention this, but there is a little treat at the end of the day. We're not going to say what, so I don't want anybody to be excited, but there is a little treat coming at the end of the day. So just, we're going to excuse you back to your rooms, and um, I want you to use that grit and determination to stay where we are. But for now, we want the Clements Band. If you will play us out, please, and students, listen to your teachers as we excuse. Thank you again, everyone. Schmidt at yeah. Commonwealth Elementary School this morning inside Fort Bend ISD is off the charts. Number one in Texas. Wow. Sounds like sweet kids in a very deserving school. Yeah.